Good morning. I would like to begin by asking the audience to raise your hand if you ever had an original idea. Oh wow, we have a very innovative audience. Well, today I'm going to tell you exactly why I think no idea is original. <laughs> Let me begin by asking you, what do you think are new ideas? Well, I guess what most of you would have answered is coming, with some, coming up with something that has never been done before or thinking of something new, right? Well, what I think new ideas are, are just smash up or remixes of ideas that already exist. Everything we do is based on the knowledge and life experience we already have. From the things we learned in school, very important, to random videos we watch on a family WhatsApp group, maybe not so important. So every new idea, theory, technology we come up with comes from connecting the dots from the knowledge that already exists in our brain. The knowledge we got from others. That's why there has been an explosive and exponential growth in technology. The graph you see behind me is the Moore's law. Number of transistors double every two years. That's why the iPhone you have in your pocket right now, I mean, I'm carrying a Samsung, but the smartphone we have in our pockets right now have a hundred thousand times more processing power than the Apollo 11 computer, which helped place a man on the moon. We treat ideas these days like a one by one piece of property that is only yours, but I find that inherently wrong. Because if everything we created was unique and did not gain inspiration from anything, we would all be still learning how to make pyre from stones. Let me give you the example of Shakespeare and his famous play Romeo and Juliet. You all would have heard of it, right? The plot is actually inspired by an Italian tale translated as the tragic history of Romeo and Juliet by Arthur Brookie. But why do we all remember Shakespeare and not the other author, whose name we might have already forgotten? Because Shakespeare added what no one else could. He wrote it in a poetic, dramatic structure so unique that turned an amazing plot into the Romeo and Juliet that has been and will be remembered for centuries to come. Steve Jobs unveiled the iPhone in 2008. A complete revolution creating the whole industry of smartphones. But the technology that made these phones smart, the touch technology, existed in some shape or form since the 1980s. Pablo Picasso, associated with pioneering cubism. His painting sold for $179 million. To put into perspective how much money that is, it's enough money to stack a tower four times the height of Mount Everest made of shawarmas. He said, good artists borrow, great artists steal. And don't get disheartened now because I also believe in one more thing that all of us can be 100% original. How? We are the sum total of all our experiences, right? Here is the cool part. No one ever has or will experience life like you are experiencing it right now. So there are only dots that you can see and connect them in a way no one else will ever be able to. So if you're an artist, writer, or coder, or student, or a regular bloke with a normal job, we have the best opportunity to create something unique. Go to the best artists, writers, or coders we know. Learn what they do best. Understand where and how do they fail. And integrate everything you learn into your work. You're practically adding a lifetime's worth of experience into your work just by interacting with other people. A famous personality once said, greatest knowledge is knowing that you don't know something because only then will you be able to pursue it. Oh, that's me. Just start copying what you love. Copy, copy, copy. In the end, you'll find a copy vastly different from the original. That is you. I'm not talking about plagiarism here though. Because you can't copy an identical copy just because no two brains are alike. If you try to copy, 
it will just be a cheap knockoff. Instead, turn what you can't copy into something that no one else will ever be able to. And what I find the most important is to do what you like every single day, no matter what. Even if you feel your friend John over there is 10 times better than you. Because if you improve by a single percent every day, by the end of day 365, that's a year if I'm not wrong, by the end of just a year, you will be 37 times better than where you started. And 27 times better than John over there. And here is where we embrace ourselves. Learn from everything and everyone around us. Copy. It's not a sign of mediocrity. It's accepting and embracing what's good. That's how Steve Jobs created the most valuable company on earth. Shakespeare, a timeless classic. And Picasso, a whole revolution in art. Because what are new ideas? Just smash up or remixes of ideas that already exist. The only difference, no one can mash it up the same way you can using the ingredients you have through the methods you know. Thank you.